Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of this tutorial where I show you how to code Google's Dino game. So let me show you what we have coded so far. We have our screen, we have the moving background, we have our Dino which is able to jump and avoid these obstacles or these cactus that are being randomly displayed on the screen. Now obviously we're missing the collisions, so the Dino is able to go through this cactus and that shouldn't be possible. So in this video we're going to code the collisions between the Dino and the cactus. Now this is not gonna be so hard, it's actually pretty simple and we don't have to do so many things. So I expect this video to be short and maybe I think in the next video we should totally finish our game. So yeah let's start coding. Okay, so we're gonna start by creating a new class. We're gonna call it collision. So I'm gonna create it right here in between the game class and the cactus class. So go ahead and type class collision. We don't need an init method for this. This class is actually pretty simple. We're just going to have one method and that method is going to be called between or I'm gonna name it between. We're gonna receive self as parameter, also one object. I'm gonna call it object one and object two. And we're gonna pass it for now. So this is going to look something like game.collision.between, uh, I don't know, Dino and Cactus. So something like that. So pretty simple. Okay, so in order to code this function, I used the distance formula which you can find on Google uh, and basically it says that the distance between two points is equal to the square root of the x coordinate of one of the objects minus the x coordinate of the other all these raised to the power of 2 plus the y coordinate of one of the objects minus the y coordinate of the other object um, all these raised to the power of 2. So pretty simple, we are going to apply this formula or we're gonna code this formula in order to complete our method. So I'm gonna start by creating a new variable, I'm gonna call it distance and this is going to be equal to math. This is a module so we need to import it. So right here, import math. Okay, so distance is equal to math dot square root. We open the brackets and we're first going to subtract the, the object's x coordinate. So open brackets and we want to type something like object one dot x minus object two dot x. And this is going to be raised to the power of two. So in Python, you can raise something or a number like this. So you put two asterisks and then the well the power in this case two. And then we want to add pretty much the same but using the y coordinate. So object one dot y minus object two dot y and all these raised to the power of two. So we have our distance right there. Make sure the object one, if you if you start with the object one here, it should also start with the object one here. And if you end with the object two, it should end with the object two in order for this formula to work. So once we have our distance, we wanna do the following. We wanna return the distance I'm sorry, the distance less than 35. So let me explain. This is going to return a Boolean. This is not actually returning the distance. So we're actually returning true or false depending if this distance is actually less than 35. 35 is a hard code value which worked for me, but basically we're telling the program, okay, if both objects have a distance less than 35 will consider that as a collision and you'll see this is going to work pretty good so that's all we finished with our collision class i told you it was going to be pretty simple 
So the next thing we want to do is actually check well the collision. So let's start by creating well a new property inside of our game class and I'm gonna call it collision. So right here self.collision equals a new collision. Okay, so we're adding also a new property inside of our game class and we're gonna call it playing and we're gonna set it equal to false. So we need this, this property because once we collide or once the Dino collide with a, with a cactus, we wanna set playing equal to false. Now, it's gonna start with a false value because we don't wanna start the game moving. We wanna press the space button to start playing the game. I don't know if I'm being clear, so let me show you. The game starts automatically, so we start moving immediately, but I want to somehow tell the program, okay, I don't wanna move or I don't want Dino to move unless I press the space key. So yeah, this is why we need the self.playing property. And we're gonna add a new method, pretty simple method, which is start, we're gonna receive self. And this is basically going to set our playing attribute to true, pretty simple. Okay, once we have done this, we can go ahead and we'll go to our main loop and we are going to start checking the collision. And this is pretty simple. So inside of this for loop of these four cactus in game.obstacles, right here, we wanna code the following. So I'm gonna put a comment here telling this is a collision. So if game.collision, dot between uh, object one is going to be Dino object two is going to be the cactus that we are well looping so if this is true we want to for now I'm gonna print game over for you to see game over and that's it so this should work I'm going to start the game let me actually before we do that, I'm gonna put this a little bit more bigger. And okay, I'm gonna start playing. So if we lose, we're gonna get a game over printed on console. So I'm gonna lose right now. So as you can see, let me show you, we got a lot of game overs printed on console. So it is working correctly but we don't want to print game over we actually want the game to stop right so right here we want to put game dot over this is a new method that we need to create but it's going to be pretty simple so right after we code the start method we want to code or we want to type uh, def over we're gonna receive self as parameter and this is going to be self.playing equals false. Pretty simple. Okay, now, uh, remember what I told you that I wanna start the game once we press the spacebar key? So we're gonna do that right here. So there are two options. So the first one is going to be if the Dino is on the ground, well, we wanna jump. But the second one is going to be if not game dot playing we wanna game dot start and this is not gonna work yet because we need to we need to type the following so right here this is going to be the first line of code inside of our main loop and it's gonna be if game dot playing we're gonna do well all these so up to up to here so yeah this should work now so the 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 dino should start yeah like this now once i press my or the spacebar key it should jump and it should start the game so let's see and as you can see 
it is perfectly working now i'm gonna lose uh to see what happened okay i lose and as you can see the game well basically crashes and we need somehow to restart the game once we lose but we are going to do that on the next video because in this video i just wanted to show you how to code uh well the collisions between our dino and a cactus so yeah i think that's all for this video i told you it was going to be it was going to be pretty short so as you can see we have our game working correctly and once we collide the game will stops running so yeah that's all for this video in the next video we're gonna be coding i think we are going to be finishing the game as i told you and we're gonna be coding a restart function we're gonna be coding a, a score class so we're gonna be able to see our scores our high scores we're also going to code or add the sounds and yeah i think that's uh, those are all the things that we are going to be doing uh, well on this tutorial and I think we, we should have a pretty cool final result by the end of the next video so so yeah I hope you like this video hope you are liking this tutorial um, and yeah I see you on the next video thanks for watching